This next way of finding uh, solutions to our equations is an another numerical method and it's called iteration. Now this is um, where we generate a sequence of results which will converge towards the root that we are looking for. So let's start with this equation and we'll, I'll show you how to do it. So we've got x cubed minus 3x minus 5 equals 0 and we're looking for a root. So the first thing that we need to do is rearrange this into um, the form x equals some other function of x. So here we've got f of x equals 0 in the yellow where f of x is that cubic function there. We're going to rearrange it to be x equals some other function of x. So we can rearrange that whole thing as follows. We take the 3x and the 5 over to the other side and then we'll cube root it. Then we'll draw a sketch of the graph of y equals x and of y equals f of x. So we'll sketch the y equals x for the left hand side of that blue equation and we'll sketch the graph of y equals the cubed root of 3x plus 5. Then to solve it we're just looking for the point where they intersect. Now if you're not too confident on sketching graphs and a, a cubic would be a fairly difficult one to do then you just plot a few points and see what happens. Okay, so we've got the root there is the point of intersection that will solve both the blue and the yellow equation because they are the same things, they're just written in a different way. So we're using the, the form of it in the blue to be able to look for that root. Now we use an iteration based on that form that we had in blue where the next term that we're looking for, we use the previous term, times it by 3, add 5 and cube root it and it helps us get successive, successively closer to the root and I'll show you on the graph how this works. So if we take that iterate, iterative formula I've drawn the graph a little bigger to show you how this is. So we've got that line y equals x and the um, graph of uh, the iterative formula there or y equals f of x now what happens is we take our first value of x, we're going to start with 0. If you put 0 into that function you just get um, 2. Then that becomes the input for the next formula. So our y value there of 2, we read across for y equals x, that now becomes our next x value. So now we put 2 into our equation and we work out what answer that would give us. So reading up to that line of y equals f of x that gives us 2.22 and then that we use that for the next um, iteration the next part of our formula we plug that back in and that now becomes our next x value we take that again we read up to the y equals f of x line and that becomes our next um, value to input into the function and so on until eventually you can see this will go in steps up towards our root it's going to converge towards that point where they actually cross. Now you can, how you actually do this, you, you're not going to draw out the graphs and show that little diagram every time, you're going to do this sensibly in a table. So you set out your values like this, where n is the number of times you've done it. So those were the first three that we just saw on the graph, so on you know, your first thing you just take the, the zeroth term, um, and then the next one, the first one the first round of your iteration, you're taking that value from the zero, put it into your formula again, and it becomes your next term. So each time you just take your answer and you put it into the function again to work out what the next value would be. And n is just your count of how many iterations you have done. Easiest way to do this is to use the answer key on your calculator, so you can just keep pressing equals. And then you can see as you carry on, um, you're just taking the previous value and putting it back into the formula every time to get closer and closer to a root. And you can see those as you continue on, you're, you're getting um, an answer that is increasing in accuracy for the root. So say here at the, the third iteration, we could tell at that point that x would be 2.3 to one decimal place. And then by the sixth one, we can see that x would be... 2.28 to two decimal places as it carries on and you can carry this on as many times as you need and you can even get this down to being x equals 2.27902 to five decimal places within just a few more iterations. Okay now there are other types um, of iteration instead of the steps you can also get ones that go in kind of a cobweb um, 
diagram, they spiral in towards the root. Um, they sort of fluctuate from between being above the root and below the root. So here's an example of one where you could see if you took that first value, you take the answer that you get by going up to that curve, you make it your x value for the next one, and then you'd read off the curve for that x value, and so on. You can see this one converges in a spiral way. So each answer you get becomes your next input. So you read off the curve for it, it gives you the next input, you read off the curve for that, and so on, until it converges to um, your root in the middle again. It still does converge, but um, it will alternate between being above the root and below the root as you get towards that centre point. There are some rearrangements that don't converge, and you need to be wary of those. Um, they diverge instead, they actually move away from the root instead of coming back in towards the root that you're looking for and if that happens you just need to try a different rearrangement of your original equation.